This is part 2 of the new um, AA14500 offerings from Lomintop. Hey, welcome back to UDC channel. This is Jay. I reviewed this um, Atman LED, aka the Ring King, in the first part. Um, this time I'm, I'm going to talk about this uh, twisty uh, Silver Fox. Usually, I'm not a big fan of twisty unless it's Titan 4 off, which is rare. I'm guessing because it's harder to do. It's probably easier to tighten for on since it's naturally a uh, make contact. What I don't like is that usually there's a play in the off position, which is uh, where it's at most of the time. But this is surprisingly really sturdy, no play at all. Actually there was an older, more premium version of the Silver Fox in stainless steel with um, tail clicky instead of twisty and smooth versus this one with lots of knurlings but let me uh, quickly show um, you the box it does come with uh, spare o-rings this uh, keychain which I didn't use I used the uh, uh, lanyard and bit instead and the usual glow-in-the-dark uh, diffuser now let's take a closer look at the light love the knurlings kinda remind me of a certain uh, grey light Lumin top always has uh, great knurlings Not sure why this four section don't have the same size snarlings. It would look much cleaner if they were um, the same size. Let's take a peek inside to look at the internals. This doesn't come with a battery, so I just use the IKEA battery. Again, like the Ring King, the spring is really thin. But at this uh, price point, I can't really expect much. And the rest of the light has a nice build quality. Oh, and also not sure what this, these holes are for. I'm guessing since the this tube is one piece, um, this is to remove the metal piece. I'll probably cover it with the glow in the dark tube. Another knurlings on the head, kinda necessary since this is a twisty and needs some um, grip for twisting. And again, it has a, another different size. It's using a TIR lens with honeycomb pattern. Instead of a pocket clip, it came with a metal um, lanyard ring, which is quite nice. I believe only this part is stainless steel. And this is just metal, since it won't work with magnet if the whole thing is uh, stainless steel. It's meant to be used with the keychain attachment, but I prefer a paracord instead, with a matching bead of course. And just like most lumen tops, it came with this uh, handy uh, glow in the dark diffuser. glows really bright and lasts quite long it doesn't specify which OSRAM I'm guessing it's the same P9 as in the this ring king this one has a maximum of 760 lumens with uh, 14500 and just like the ring king it also takes a regular um, AA but with much uh, lower output which is still handy in a pinch and again just like this it's missing a true low moonlight mode so I use this uh, NIMH rechargeable battery just to get a lower low of um, 2 lumens instead of 8 actually it has one more mode compared to the for this one 
In addition to the low, medium, high, it has one more mode which is turbo and then stroke. It only has one regular stroke which is uh, accessed by six cy cycles. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no poly strobe like uh, the one in the ranking. It's also rated for IP68 waterproof. And I'm um, not sure if this is uh, coated or just uh, polished. Let's uh, take it outside and take a look at the beam shot. Okay, I have to re record it because I forgot to change to the lithium battery. Another thing I don't like about Twisty is that it can do this, even though there's very little play. Start with low. Medium. High. Mm, turbo. Obviously there's no shortcut to uh, turbo or strobe. This is all flat. This one with lithium. 14500. Okay, now I want to compare the tint. This is my other flashlight with a honeycomb TIR. Point down, boy. I wish this is made of titanium instead or at least stainless steel in a um, darker um, hue like this uh, make, uh, metal D-ring or this uh, stainless steel bit but this aluminum surprisingly look decent and then I wish it doesn't have a memory mode and the same size knurlings everywhere I look forward to uh, more new products from Lumin Tops, especially in 14500s or AA and hopefully in more premium metals. As always, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Till the next one, bye now.